The Panasonic GH5 has a feature in it that allows you to execute focus pulls with only one camera operator. We call this focus transition. Let's show you how it works and where it's in the menu. So go to the camera's menu. We need to be in the top tab, which means the mode dial needs to be in the creative movie mode. Page two has focus transition. Select focus transition, and let's first start by teaching you how to program in your three focus pull points. We'll select focus, we'll select focus pull settings. Position number one, we hit set. We then use our lens manual focus adjustment. We can move this box over to the object that we want in focus, in this case the stem. Press set, press set here. That brings us to position two. We're gonna make this apple here position two. We're gonna slide this box over, which helps for magnifying the image. We're looking for our little blue focus peaking, which is right on the apple there. We press set, press set here. Go to position number three, which will be the knife, but Mark, I'm gonna have you move the apple where I want it on the, on the cutting board for me. So Mark's gonna move that into position, and then we're going to adjust our focus, move the box over so we can get our focus programmed exactly the way we want. We're looking for those little blue focus peaking symbols. We've got them. Press set, set. Now we have our three positions programmed. So once we have them programmed, we have some options. One is how fast we want the transition. Do you want a super fast transition, which is super high? Do you want a super low transition? In this case, we're just gonna be high, kind of upper middle of speed. The next option would be focus transition. This simply allows you to press record, and what it'll do is it'll move to the position I've selected once I press record. So I could have it at the distance subject, select position one, and then it would rack to my foreground if I wanted to. Our next option is focus transition weight. This simply means that it's gonna set a, a delay. So when I ask it to execute the focus pull, it'll wait five seconds or 10 seconds before it executes that pull. In this case, we're gonna to wanna to go through all three focus positions. So we're just gonna do a manual focus pull here with me operating it. So we go to start. Once you have start up on the screen, you'll see position one, position two, and position three are right here. As I touch each of them, you'll see it change the focus point. If you don't want to use the touch screen, you can also use the joystick, and we can just select from the joystick. In this case, I'm going to use the touch points on the screen. We're gonna start on the apple here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna direct Mark. He's gonna reach out for the apple here in a second. He's gonna pull it onto the cutting board and then he's just gonna cut it. I'll execute a focus pull between those two points. So we are recording and we'll have Mark reach out for the apple. We'll then have Mark put it into position and he's now cut the apple. And here's an example of how that looks.